What we're going to do today is we're going to install the fuel pump, uh, reinstall back some of the linkage on here, and we're going to rebuild the carburetor. So keep watching. Okay. The only thing I've done today without you being here is I re-straightened out the wiring on the front of here. I got some uh, diagrams and I put it back like I believe that it's supposed to be. The thing was is I started putting it back like it was and that wasn't right. So like I said, I got some reference diagrams and, and put it back. And um, so I think I've got it pretty good now. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is we're going to tighten up this power pack here and this uh, these bolts right here. Those are 3 8 bolts. The book says to uh, the power pack mounting bolts is 4 to 5 foot pounds. My wrench here I've got is goes in uh, inch pounds so we'll multiply that. 4 times 12 would be uh, uh, 48. So we're gonna, I'm going to start it out. We'll go up 45 inch pounds and bring them up to there first on this 3 8 uh, bolt. There it is. It's torqued in and not cracked. We're going to stop right there. Okay, we're going to put this shifted linkage on. We're going to put this shifted linkage, uh, this part of it. Of course, can't find my 516 socket. Alrighty. And this piece goes on here like this. Well, a little more graceful than that. And I did crease all this, 9 sixteenths. Okay. Good. Yeah, there's clearance. I'll go that way. That'd, make, that'd be all right. And this, just have to turn down like that. Okay. And then we just circle our fuel line, right? Go down and up under the carburetor. And we got our cotter pan and our washers to go on here. I'm just going to put those back in the bag because we'll have to adjust this for. Okay, we're going to install the uh, vertical control shaft right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some this uh, triple guard crease here. I'm going to just loop it up good. So for one, the pieces will stick to it, make it easier to put together. We're going to loop it up good so the pieces will stick onto it. Try to make assembly a little easier. This one kind of goes on the back like that. This one goes on the front. Bolt goes in like that. 
this bolt's going to go like that, and this is going to all go right there. And we're going to tighten that 3 8 up. Nope. <laughs> Should put that on first. Alright, we should have put that on first, so we'll know next time. Alright, we're going to put the shaft control sleeve in here. That kind of goes in, that just makes the fancy way for making the hole smaller. And then we're going to put the uh, going to put this back up in there, yes, like so, and we're going to put the control shaft washer, which is the metal washer, and we're going to put the, uh, spring washer, and we're going to put the nylon washer then we're going to attempt to get the cotter pan in with all that stuff on there whoever stacked all that up thought that was a good idea That rock hard. Yeah, we're gonna bend that. Don't you why to go in so hard when slide out like that? Okay. Bend that a little. Okay, now. Now that I about wiped all the grease off of this. Let's go ahead and grease this a little more. Some of this uh, triple guard grease. All right, now, you stay there, you stay there, you go right there. And we'll take our three eights here, Let's see if we can't run them in. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to rebuild this carburetor here. I think what it's going to be is we're going to be tearing it apart because it doesn't look like it's all that old. It doesn't match the rest of the motor, I mean, as far as what the rest of the engine looks like. So, it's got a little dirt on it, but if you look, even this where they've taken this out to clean them upper ports and stuff, it looks like it's just been, looks like it's just been put back in. <clears throat> so, anyhow, let's see what we got. Yeah, it smells like old gas in there, but take that gasket off. Let's take this float out. The float pin. Try and take that float seat. That float seat looks brand new, but. If we don't check, we won't know what we've got. Oh, it's not even tight. <laughs> I 
it's getting all ready to really crank down on it. So I guess that was I guess that was a good thing. Ooh. That don't look bad. That actually looks pretty darn clean in there. Alright. Anybody that's watched my videos before knows that I like to use this uh, rubbing alcohol to clean the carburetors and stuff with. So let's go ahead and put some in here. And we're going to just blow it through some of these. Uh, so let's see. Let's just see where this thing goes. Guess I'll run through, through there. Okay. That's all clean. That's actually pretty darn clean. I had got a carburetor kit for this, but I don't know whether I really need to put it on there. Like I said, all of this stuff looks good. I'm thinking I'm going to take and uh, just uh, make sure everything's clean and uh, put it back on there. Because that's perfect there. So we're just cleaning the carburetor on this. And if it don't run when we get all done, then we'll, then we'll, I gotta, but see the thing of it is, is I got a kit, but I also got another whole carburetor right here that's been rebuilt, so. I mean, like, and of course, like I said, I got the kit for here that's the 398453, and that's the kit for it, but uh, I'm not going to put it in right now, because this one looks too good. I mean, even everything looks good. It looks brand new, so I'm thinking somebody has done the carburetor. Let's see how that float seats in there. That float looks like it hangs down a little bit. We'll go ahead and clean this up. I think the rooster's trying to tell me he's hungry. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and put the screws back in this. I don't know if that's an advantage or not, but with having parts around. I've got carburetors that's already been rebuilt, fuel pumps that's already been done. So, I mean, it's... Alright. Let's 
put this back in. Okay, we've bottomed it out. Let me, I don't remember. Let me, we, let me see what that sets at. Okay, it says back out one turn for a 9.9, .9, 7 eighths of a turn for a 15 horse. Get the new uh, end I bought for it. That is a uh, part number, let's see, part number 03319152. Cover, we're not going to know where. Okay, we've seated it by hand. Okay, we've done that straight up. So we'll back it out seven eighths of a turn. So, uh, I guess that's seven eighths. It's pretty close. We're not all the way up. All right, so that's it. All right, we'll put this carburetor on. Put our new gasket on here. And this goes on just like this. Okay, let's get a wrench, tighten that up. That is a 7 sixteenths. It's on there. Okay. We got our new fuel. This is some 3 16 fuel line that I've got. I got a couple feet here, so that looks like that'll go on there. I'm not going to cut too much off until I get it in the engine, but they're in the cowling and everything, but we'll just put it on there for now. So. I figure that will go about like that. Get some ties and put on there. That ain't too bad there. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put this roller on here. Mount our linkage. It goes in there like that. It goes up there like that. And then this just goes, screws right inside the carburetor. Okay, let's see. Okay. There's that. We're getting there. Okay, I'm going to put this uh, starter interlock switch back on here. And uh, even though the pole is broke here, it doesn't and en engage with that. But just so that way if I, if I get it, all, it'll be there already there. I mean, it's $16 for this top piece, but... All right. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, stay safe on the water. Take care.